Hey guys, what the fuck's going on? It's your boy Skrinks here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to use Selenium from Python. It's a very, very basic uh, kitty script thing, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty great, man. So, anyway, today we're going to be showing you how to get a very basic automatic cart bot. So, anyway, uh, first, you're going to want to install the package. If you didn't know how to do that on PyCharm, you go to Settings. Uh, you go to your interpreter, you click on this, and you type in the package you want. In this case, we're doing Selenium. Then you install the package. It's going to give me an error saying that the package is already installed. Um, so that's installed now. Uh, and then from here, we're going to go from Selenium, import web driver. And what this does is it allows us to create this uh, variable called driver. And in this variable, we're going to go ahead and store the value webdriver.firefox. I mainly use Firefox. So... If you wanted to do Chrome, it'd be webdriver.chrome. Uh, that is also a command um, that you could do. See, just as easy, just as nice. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and create a variable called URL, and in this URL variable, we're gonna go and do, uh, we're gonna find a website that we want, and we're gonna search for something. In this case, we're gonna go on Best Buy and look up for an RTX 3090. And uh, not that I really want one, this is just for an example. We're gonna go ahead and go to the website, copy that URL, and in this variable, we're going to post this as a string. So now that we've got that string set up in the variable, we're going to go ahead and actually uh, have Selenium fetch the website for us. So we're going to go driver.get, and then in here, we're going to stick that variable URL. And uh, so now what this does is it's going to go ahead and retrieve the website, open it, and put this next command, driver.maximize window, and that's going to go ahead and full screen the actual website itself. So let's go ahead and run this and see where we're at. It's going to give it just got to give it a second since we are running off the IDE. So it's going to fetch the website first like I asked it to and then after it loads completely it's going to go ahead and maximize the screen. Yep, there it goes. And don't want to allow that. We're going to close this. So now that we've got this set up, we're going to want to go ahead and go onto the website and retrieve what's called an XPath. So if this is what we want, we're gonna go ahead and actually just grab that straight off of the uh, mini script that we have here so far. Wait for this to load up real quick. And yep, just like that, we are loaded in. Uh, and so we should have an exit code zero, yep, because the program executed correctly, and now we're on the website. And since all of these are sold out, we're going to want to go ahead and, you know, for, for an example's sake, we're going to go ahead and hit F12 for the developer's console, and then we're going to go straight to uh, the pointer, and you're going to want to hover over the add cart function of whatever you want to be adding to your cart. Uh, not that this program is any is, is practical in whatever case. So once you're there, you're going to want to click the highlighted, you're going to want to right click the highlighted portion of the text. You're going to want to go to copy and you're going to want to copy what's called an XPath. And in Selenium, an XPath is basically just, um, just Selenium's way of parsing through the website's details in order to find what you're looking for. So anyway, so we're going to do here a uh, driver.find element by XPath. And then in here, we're going to want to stick it in quotation so that it's kind of a string inside of the um, parentheses. And now that we have that, uh, just to make it easier for readability's sake, we're going to want to label this click, make that a variable, and we're going to want to do click dot click. So we're saying right here, we are literally just telling Selenium, hey, this variable click that we've stored this XPath in, we want you to click whatever that is. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and boot this back up and we're gonna let the program run out and it should come up, bring up Best Buy, maximize the window, uh, initialize the script to add it to the cart and once it does that, the program will have an exit code zero. So see, it scrolled down to where it could just barely add it to the cart and it is now in the cart. So now that it's in the cart, you can do pretty much anything you please. Uh, right here, you can, I guess, check out. And if you wanted to do that, you just hit this one more time, and then you click check out, and then you'd go to copy 
the X path one more time, and then you could, if you really wanted to do some sinister stuff, which is kind of stupid, just don't. You could just do this driver find element by X path, and then do this, and then you could do checkout dot click, and then from there, I'm not going to show you much else. Um, this is, you know, from here you could obviously just go and fetch the details to your credit card information, have it automatically input that in there for you, and you know there you go i just showed you how to make a scalping bot on literally any website possible do what you will with this information it's not my fault whatever you do with it